Um, the other day I was sent um, three whistles by um, a chap called uh, Roy McManus in Belfast. And I've got the three of them here. And the first one that I took out of the bag, and well, all three of them, in fact, has the, had these kind of um, elastic bands on them, uh, if you can see that. And I'm going to take them off because I rang Roy and, and said, you know, why do you have these elastic bands on the whistles? They seem to make them come out flat. And he said that they were for tuning purposes. Well, um, I think that this whistle without the elastic band probably needs to be warmed up a bit, but is probably in tune. lightweight um, tone but also you know if you if you feel it and, and you kind of feel the wood it's um, it's very lightweight wood it's a uh, bocote wood um, but he has sent me another couple this one is lead wood and I've taken the rubber bands off this already Bacote, but you know it's kind of horses for courses. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes you want a different type of sound. This is the third one he sent me. This is in um, African blackwood. So. is here. Mitch Smith um, still has the edge on everyone else, but um, Roy McManus, uh, I, I'm just going to, I wrote down the prices of all these whistles, and let me just read them out. Um, the most expensive of all these whistles is the Oz in Blackwood, and that is 425 Australian dollars, which amounts to 284 pounds in language that I understand. So 284 for the Oz, Abel would be 280 pounds. Uh, George Ormiston, I, I, I don't have one of these here, but they're very good. George Ormiston would be uh, 275. Uh, Fred Rose, 190. Paul Bussman, 155. And at the bottom is Roy McManus, the one I've just played, at £135. I think that's an absolute bargain. And if you want to get in touch with Roy, uh, he's given me his email address here. It's whistles at Roy McManus, which is R-O-Y-M-C-M-A-N-U-S dot co dot UK. I'd go for it.